So today we're going to talk about basically my five tips towards uh, building an effective character. So the biggest thing that we want to do whenever we're doing any kind of performance, whether it's theatrical, whether it's music theater, or whether it is opera, is you have to be able to develop a character that not only you connect with, but that your audience is going to connect with as well. So the very first thing, actually really very straightforward. Get a copy of the script. If you can get, a, if you can get your hands on the script, uh, then read it. Um, it's hard to build a character when you don't know where you start and where you don't know where that character ends. Now, granted, that's going to be a lot easier to develop whenever it's a large character. It's a little bit tougher whenever you're doing a smaller character, but the same rule applies. Know your story and know your plot points as you move forward. So that's thing one. Get a hold of the script. Another thing is try not to watch video recordings of those productions. It's amazing how fast our mind starts to mimic things. And you want your performance to be as unique as you possibly can that it, so that you can really create a character that is absolutely yours. So try not to get yourself in a position where you're watching the same film. That's really sometimes difficult to avoid when you're talking about a particularly well-known play or well-known musical that you know is on TV like every couple of days or if it's TNT multiple times within a single day. So that's thing two is just try not to delve into that. Uh, another thing that you can do is make sure that you get a real good idea of who that character is. Make sure that you know their age, if it's outlined in the script, that makes it easy. Then you know how old they are. Um, if it's just kind of suggested, make your mind up. If, it's, if all it says is that they're a young person, fine. How young is young? And what era is it in? Because young is going to mean a different thing in medieval Spain than it's going to mean now. Young would have been 12. <laughs> young is still 12 here, but it's different because the adult line kind of slides a little bit. So know them, know what they do, know what they believe in, know who else they interact with. Get a real clear character sketch of what that character seems to embody for you. Okay, so that's the third one. The fourth one is to just kind of start to think through emotions. Think about the, the different conflicts that they have over the course of the story whether they're external conflicts with, a, with another character, or whether they're more internal, whether it's something that that character is having to fight against in themselves. If you figure out what those conflicts are, then you're able to uh, you know, kind of know, one, where you're going, but also, two, how you're going to try to get there. Then the last thing is probably the hardest, and that's figuring out the postures and the gestures and really how to kind of use the external part of you as an actor to make things believable. So I'm a hand talker. That's how I am. Uh, I tend to do that often, sometimes whenever I'm on stage, whenever it's appropriate. There are times though that you may have a character that's way more reserved. So maybe gestures need to be down at a bare minimum. Um, posture is a huge thing. And yes, opera singers, you can absolutely play with posture. Uh, and still be able to have good singing posture. It's all in how you hold this part of your body. So I slouch so long as I can work that in. I can make it visually look like I'm more hunched over than I actually am. Um, how they walk. Uh, basically, you just need to play around with those movements until you find something that fits. Uh, so if your gestures feel odd or out of place, chances are good that they are. Uh, so keep playing with those. Try not to go to the same kind of standard gestures over and over and over again. Yes, it is true that sometimes the costume is the key and you can often feel out the uh, character's gestures a little bit more easily whenever you've got the costume, but let's be realistic. You're not going to get that costume till the last week and you've got to have a pretty good idea about how that character is going to go before you get to the last week of rehearsals. So again, all you have to do is get your hands on the script, uh, make sure that you know the, uh, all the plot points, uh, and then just go from there and do your homework. A well-studied uh, actor is always going to be more effective than one that shoots from the hip.